Um, the fact that I'm pissed at myself for losing doesn't mean I'm not happy the other person won because there were times yeah. that my friends won and I was still sad. Doesn't mean I was not happy for them. Yeah. And also, um, people who had com uh, who had problems with me being overly competitive. It was a competition. If you couldn't take the heat, why come in the first place? So tonight's episode actually started with the bass boss in the house and it all dragged along with the housemate talking about Prince being a sore loser, which we all saw. In fact, that was just the highlight of tonight's episode. They all were speaking about Prince and everybody was just airing their opinion about how they feel towards Prince whenever he loses. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Yuki and if you're seeing me for the very first time, hi. Please consider to hit on the red subscribe button, subscribe to the YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. Oh, you guys. So tonight I started with the bass boss of the house, you understand, and Ebuka, you know, the highlight of the bass boss in the house was that of Tolani Badge and Katrina and they played the video, the clip for them to see and then they now asked them what's up about it and Tolani was like, Omo, it seems as if Katrina just came to this house to boss everybody and she was on the quiet side but she needed to prove a point to Katrina that Omo, you do not step on me that I'm quiet, I am quiet for a reason, you understand? So Katrina was like that he, she did not prove anything and all that, that it was always about, in fact the whole house said that it was just always about one argument for food or the other even though prince later said that as much as they quarreled when katrina was around because of food the quarrel also extended even after katrina left and yes he was right because there will always be one reason of quarreling without you know just because of food you get it's either it is lucy quarreling because of how they made the food or the, the dirty the place while making the food some of their quarrels in the house were centered around the meals they were eating and we all were like mm. You know, when you're there outside there, eh, it could be very free for you to judge, it could be very easy for you to judge, but you don't know what these people go go through in there, you know. So, it might be easy for us to judge, like, on another day chop for on the house, why on another quarrel because of food, blah, 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 and all that. But, mm, that was just it. And then Ebuka asked them who was the most triggered housemate, like, who was acting up for the camera. A few people mentioned, Ozo said he felt Lucy because the Lucy, Lucy seemed to be a little bit different outside. Trikiti said the same thing. In fact, Trikiti emphasized on it that the Lucy I'm seeing outside is different from the Lucy I saw inside the house. That she felt, they felt like that her trigger mood. You know, Lucy was always crying, complaining, angry. One thing or the other was always frustrating her in the whole of the house. It was always making it look as if she doesn't belong there because she was always having this self-pity every other time you get and always crying you get so um trickity was like the lucy we are seeing here is quite different from the lucy we saw inside the house another housemate were like they don't feel like some other housemates were like they don't feel like anybody was not real or something because they got asked the same question that they feel like you know when you get in there you just we don't know you so we don't know if you're real or not but sometimes your attitude can just make us be a little bit suspicious and like Come, this girl, are you real? Which Prince said at some point he was even sus suspecting Lucy to be a fake housemate because almost the whole drama was just too much and he was just like waiting the up. And some other housemates were like, they felt it was Lucy and Kaisha, you understand? Because Kaisha can just start, can just get from zero to hundred in split seconds, you understand? And maybe that's what even happened when they came for the reunion. We make Lucy come beat her for that reun reunion, you understand? Anyway, guys, moving on to the whole highlight of the shoot, the, which was them talking about the bass boss that actually happened between Ozo and um, Prince. You know, after they played the clip for them, we all saw the way Ozo reacted that period even me i was shocked that ah, this quiet also that is always making peace amongst housemates what in context can from zero reach hundred like this in fact not hundred from zero to a thousand you get because he just got so like this in split seconds and some of the housemates said that maybe they felt it was because of nengi you understand because at that time nengi had left him and he's now closer to prince and he was just feeling furious about it a lot of the housemates agreed with that opinion even though v felt said that she actually did not notice what was going on until other housemates just said that like they are suspecting it is because of um nengi that also escalated like that also yelled at prince like that you understand and when they spoke to Ozo, Ozo was like, that is not what I thought. I felt like I wanted this thing to be done right and it, it, didn't, it didn't happen right. Everybody has 
like they are free to think what they want to think but his it, it their thoughts are not right and then prince was like at that time he didn't feel it was that you understand but he felt like he felt like that much later after sitting back and looking at how everything actually played out you know and then Ebuka also asked them so why are you guys not close to each other is it because of the nengi thing or not and then also this was where also now came and was saying that Prince is too competitive. Prince is like, maybe they didn't use the word a soul loser, but Prince seems to be like a soul loser because whenever he loses his tax or his games or anything, he sometimes he cries, you understand? He sucks too much. He just be like, everybody loses, you know? In that house, everybody has tasted failure one way or the other, you understand? But it's the ability to just almost suck it up and move on and not just start, you know, even if your friend has... Because I, I for one, am... I feel so if I get that kind of friend and then each time you lose, you are just, uh, maybe I'm the one that wins and you're acting like that. I won't be comfortable with you because that's what Ozo said. Ozo said that because of seeing those traits about him, he just felt that, nah, I don't need to be close to this kind of a person. And I want to understand from Ozo perspective, you understand, because um, well, there are two, two sides to a coin, you understand. And then I also want to understand from Prince's aspect, which says that, we he, everybody has a right to react the way they want to react but guy chill sometimes we lose sometimes we win this world no be win 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 the spice of life is win lose win lose win. that's just it ups down ups down so i don't feel like whenever you lose you're just sulking sulking as in just making everybody notice that you're not happy and then even the person that won will not even be happy to celebrate where you are because they feel like they're rubbing it on your face or in your face you understand that kind of thing because that's what also also said and then they asked vivi was like yeah he did not he felt he would not say that she he is a soul loser but he felt like she felt like that was a weakness and she's seen that as a weakness she she uses it against him you understand because she knows that if he wins he's going to suck so they press him because after all they're in big brother house that was this statement and other housemates concur to it that prince had that attitude of yes we know that i know some of you will come here now and say that it was it was a, it's a competition we are there to win we are there to, even if you knew that it is a competition or it was a competition babe guy at the end of the day you know say you fit is a two waiting is a 50 50 it's either a win or someone else will win so you have to learn to Tell yourself how you will deal with it if you are the one on the losing end. Everybody wants to be the winner. But not be 20 people go win Big Brother Money. Now one person. So you have to learn to understand that you are in the house with 19 other housemates. And for Christ's sake, not be all of them. All of them not be Olodo. Do you understand? So you don't expect to always win, 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 win. And then other people be the failure. failure. Uh, come on, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense like that. And Prince went about saying that they were... That he felt like they were he was a threat to them and all that. and I'm like you are a threat you can be like I feel like if I say if they say that he's a threat to them of course you went there to the house the next housemate is a threat to you so if there's a reason if there's a way you can eliminate the next person to move you further that is what will happen because it, that's just the game every the next housemate is it I feel like the next ha housemate is a threat to your winning that money so the person falling along the line is just the way it should go as in it's just what you will wish in your heart so that it takes you a step further to win the game and then also was like he is not a threat to him but that what he mentioned earlier is just his reason why he distanced himself even though Prince was like he was always stretching hands of friendship to him when he when they are in a gathering and he's talking they are having a conversation also he's not contributing and he he keeps stretching out in a way like he asks us also so what do you think guy what do you think and also maybe gives his opinion but also felt like yeah he does that but him he does not char just want to be friends with that kind of a person you understand and then prince also said that he went out and he saw new gossiping with v about him about his um competitive nature you understand and you was like yes i gossip with V to everybody to V. So I talk and be sad, I talk and you understand. And that's what it is. It is what it is at this very point. Anyway, guys, it was just about today was just more about them talking about Prince's competitive nature. And me, I feel like Prince has a very dark side, which takes a lot of studying to get to know his kind of personality because he seemed to be I really don't know how to explain him, but <sighs> Prince is deeper than we think, really. Prince seems to be deeper than we think. So that's just about it tonight. The housemates were just 
all about Prince being a sore loser and Ibuka was just trying to make them understand that of course it's a competition and if he wins or he loses he has a way he has the right to react the way he should react but for me I don't feel like say it doesn't sit well with me if Prince they be say anytime when he lose now that time he go just they act up they even they cry you understand it sure does not make any sense because people got asked um new if he spoke to Prince about it and he said there was a time he was crying and he told him guy I'm almost brace up I beg shake off this thing come come on come, no come they say and he was still in his feelings and he left him you understand so I felt like we saw that a lot in Prince and even me when I was watching this this show I felt like he was a soul loser because you go lose for this life and like that competition where you go you know go with Olodo like I said earlier people are there struggling trying to be very intentional about winning so I don't see any reason why everybody will sit back for you to win just so that you won't suck uh -uh. no now so you have to learn to deal with it even though people you some of you will come to my comment section now and be like he has a way to he has the right to react the way he wants to react you don't react that way and make some other person feel bad because Nengi gave an instance of she, him and Nengi being in the Pepsi competition and then he was all blaming Nengi for their loss that Nengi was the one that made them lose he was making her feel bad about it you understand he was not blaming her it sure doesn't make any sense anyway guys that was all for tonight's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section and please 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 you guys subscribe to the channel now i noticed that a lot of you come to watch and run away please wait till i do now kilo shelly ganga we could subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed back on whenever i post a new video thank you so very much for watching my video i most definitely see you guys in my next one